हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज आदित्य एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टेररिज्म हॉट स्पॉट एनालिसिस व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माय डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट सीरीज फॉर दिस आई हैव यूज्ड दिस कैगल डेटा सेट आई विल शो यू सो दिस वाज द डेटा सेट व्हिच आई यूज्ड ग्लोबल टेररिज्म डेटाबेस I'll hide this again. If you want, you can also check out from this. And this is my Kaggle notebook, which I created just for showcasing the terrorism hotspot. So the first cell here is again importing all the required libraries. So I'll run this. So here it shows the file which is in the input. this is the file and as you can see this file is here too this global terrorism db0718 the same files are here and also here the next cell is about reading our csv file and we are setting the encoding as iso88591 since the encoding of the respective global terrorism database does not match so we set initially the encoding just in case we don't get errors and then in order to have a glimpse of our data frame we will say df.head on running this yeah so i got these columns and rows the columns respectively are event id year month day approx date extended country the country where the incident happened and many more now i want to see the info the data types and all of my data frame so i will run this so the range index means the number of rows are 181691 and the columns are 135 and the float 64 type of database has 55 columns 22 for int and object data type has 58 columns and my memory usage is 187.1 mb now i will use this describe to see statistical analysis of my data so the number of rows the count mean standard deviation minimum maximum so on you can see from here also i have latitude and longitude so we can easily find the hot spot of terrorism from the world map which we will see in a few so next i am finding the year which had maximum number of incidents so in order to find this we will first create a data frame and group by year according to event id and we will count all the number of incidents then we will define the columns for our new data frame on running this now in order to plot our data frame we will use plotly so plotly is nothing but similar to seaborn but it is but it is like an upgraded version of seaborn so we will import plotly.express as px and then we will plot a line plot where the x label would be year y label would be the number of incidents and data frame would be our df year column so we'll run this so this was the plot which we got on the x label it is year on the y label it is number of incidents and as we hover over it we can see the year 2014 had the number of incidents 16.9k the year 2017 had 10.9k incidents and so on so the next now we are analyzing both year and month according to events so we have to group by in terms of both year and month and then we define the columns as year month and number of incidents month wise so now we'll run this it ran now we are 
again plotting the figure in order to see the graph of this df month data frame which we created so the x label would be year the y label is number of incidents month wise and u is month since we also want to find the graph in terms of month therefore we have created a variable u equals to month and data is df month so we'll run this yeah so zero stands for this lighter line and as the line gets darker the month changes so this the darkest line is for december and the um slightest line is for january so the year is here 1970 1980 so on up to 2017 the last year and the y label is the number of incidents month wise so you can see um this is what we got so we can also predict from here that the year 2000 i guess 2 had a spike for this eighth month the eighth month is august so in year 2002 august month the case rose alarmingly so this is what we can predict from this graph now we should now we are predicting which countries had the highest number of incidents in order to do so we'll first create another data frame country and we will define the columns then we will sort the countries according to the number of incidents using the sort underscore values and then we are keeping ascending equals to false we run this now we are plotting this a pie chart where data frame we are taking only the top 20 countries since there are a hell lot of around 200 countries in our data frame but we are taking only the top 20 countries so the names would be country and the values would be number of incidents now we'll plot this so this is what we got the highest 18.6 percent incidents occurred in the country iraq 10.9 percent in pakistan 9.64 percent in afghanistan and so on so the least were in egypt 1.88 percent according to the top 20 countries so now now comes the most important part we will be analyzing this data frame according to latitudes and longitudes which will give a very beautiful illustration you will see in a few so now we are creating the data frame and grouping it by latitude and longitude and then calling event id and then we are counting it and then we are converting this into a data frame so this is my rush then we will be defining the columns then we will be sorting the values according to the number of incidents we'll see the rush sort how it looks like so this particular latitude and longitude had this number of incidents and so on so the next we need to create a world map and we'll show heat maps in order to predict which terrorism hotspot had the most number of incidents so for this we will first import folium and then from folium dot plugins we will import heat map then we will define a base map which is also the world map as folium dot map and then from the heat map rush sort 100 we are taking only the top 100 countries top 100 latitudes and longitudes since we don't want our prediction to be messy so we are restricting ourselves to the top 100 uh, latitudes and longitudes because the maximum portion of incidents would be in top 100 latitudes and longitudes therefore there is no need to include all of the latitudes and longitudes also it will help us to predict the hotspot easily since this would be less messy so we'll run this 
yeah so this is what we got we'll zoom so this area had the most reddish tone so i think this is the terrorism hotspot so uh, we'll zoom it uh, zoom it a bit okay so as you can see this is arabian region and we also have some spots near pakistan and afghanistan if we yeah so this is the sort of arabian countries and iraq also is included here and this is the area of pakistan and afghanistan which had blasts now this is also the area which had bomb blasts we'll see this now so i don't know the country name but this area also had some incidents and this area also had yeah so this is europe i guess this is spain and rest you can also see from this so basically this is how we predict the terrorism hotspot using folium i hope you guys got it